To Leeds Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And um, so we're going to try this one first. <clears throat> this is uh, a wine that was given to us uh, by a friend. And um, so I have no idea really anything about it. I mean, I did look it up, but um, which is, I, I know some things about it <laughs> because I looked it up. But um, Never seen it, but then again, most of the wines I buy, I've probably never really looked at before, except that if I keep looking at the same bottles over and over, I've probably seen them. So anyway, we're going to go to Italy here. This is the uh, Azienda Agricola Fulfani Pinot Grigio 2005 Vintage. Uh, like I said, it was given to us. Um, uh, it's also a Superiore, which uh, all that means is it's a higher alcohol, it has to have a higher alcohol percentage or minimum than a regular Pinot Grigio. Uh, so it doesn't mean that it's a superior quality wine, it just means it's a higher alcohol content. Um, looking up, um, looking up, trying to find the, uh, uh, trying to find some um, prices for it, it seems to be about a $10 bottle of wine. Um, so let's check it out. It's from the Friuli region, I'm sorry, of Italy. And um, we'll get to that in just a second. How you doing? So on the nose, I'm not getting a whole heck of a lot. I mean, I'm getting some melon type Aromas, they're starting to come out a little bit more. Really aerate this thing. That's really about it. Some melony stuff and not much else. Let's see how it tastes. It's drinkable, but I don't really get anything out of it, so I don't know. Um, it's very possible that this wine is kind of on its tail end of being good, uh, and, and this is why, because um, go to the website and uh, they don't have anything about the 2000, 2005, 2005 vintage. Uh, they do have uh, information about the 2007 and 2008 and we look at the 2007 and two, when we look at both of the stats, both of the uh, spec sheets, they both say drink within three or drink uh, three years after the vintage. So we're already, we're not, I know it's 2010, but it's not 2010 vintage, so it's just think 2009. So we're already two years beyond what they recommend to drink. Um, so. It's a bit sour. I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, it's not the, the worst thing I've ever had, but I'd say that, you know, hopefully, if you have a bottle of this, I'd say drink it. Like, go ahead and just drink it now. If you have 2005, 
Uh, just pair it with some food, drink it, and some wine, you know. But don't expect, uh, don't expect like great things out of it. But um, hopefully the, the later ones are a little bit better. So score-wise, I don't know, 78. And it, that, that sounds like it's horrible, but it's not. It's just there's really nothing to it. So it's, it, I don't hate it. But there's just nothing there, and it could be just because it's really at the end of its life. All right, so let's uh, let's just kind of talk about this real quick. So the Friuli, um, that's um, what are they called? IGTs of Italy. Um, so this is uh, we'll see. I'm sorry, Friuli DOC. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, this is the northeastern part of Italy, and the town that this winery is from is. I thought I put it down, but maybe I didn't. Maybe they have it on the back. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, Claudiano, and it's kind of near Slovenia. So um, it's really in the northern eastern part, like almost near the very, very top and eastern. Uh, it's not like a stone throw away, but it's relatively close. So um, it's there. The winery's been around. I thought I put it down that it had been around since the 1700s. Um, in the family. I thought I put that down, but I guess I didn't. But anyway, um, so the winery's been around for a while, and um, that's really about it. Um, if you find it, uh, maybe the 2008 vintage, 2007 if it's still around, I'd probably make sure you drink that pretty quick. 2008's probably going to be better. Let's hope so. Um, but the 2005, there's it's kind of uninspiring. And like I said, it's not horrible, but I don't think I would totally um like go crazy over it um okay so as you can see here uh have a new shirt now this is the shirt or the the actual shirt that i'm going to go with uh for the swag now i got two samples today this is what this is tuesday uh you know this is wednesday's episode so we got i got this which uh yes it's better because it's bigger good lord you realize it's that loud. Um, it's bigger, so it's better. So I just have to go to Zazzle and make this a little bit bigger. I don't know. Um, but uh, the quality of the shirts are about equal, though I think this was a little bit better quality. Um, and they both came out just fine. So I don't see Cafe Press, and this is the Cafe Best Cafe Press shirt. I don't see Cafe Press being like significantly better to use than um, Zazzle. I ordered both of these shirts on the exact same day with the same type of shipping. I got them the same day, so no, neither service was any faster. Um, so we're going to go with Zazzle. Uh, by the time you see this, the show, I'm sorry, the, the website should be changed so that it goes to the Zazzle store rather than the um, Cafe Press store. Uh, I'll probably keep the Cafe Press store around on Cafe Press if someone wants to buy from there, but um, Zazzle is going to be the place I'm going to use, and hopefully I'll have more shirts with different sayings. Use kind of take a play on the word "leet" and um, some products and stuff like that. So uh, that's going to do it for today. Uh, make sure to watch Sommelier A School tomorrow. We're going to finish up Germany, and um, which I'm actually working on all that right now. I should have be recording it today, Wednesday, whatever. I should be recording it on Wednesday uh, to have it posted on Thursday. Probably won't be up till Thursday later. Like officially probably won't be up to like five or six o'clock central time uh, as far as on the website. Though I don't know, it just kind of depends on how the timing is tomorrow. Maybe it'll be up early in the morning. Just I have to work during the day on the quote day job. So um, I either have to have it up and ready before I go to work or when I get home from work. Um, and that's going to be it. We'll see everybody again on Friday.